What's up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own UK based company for your dropshipping business, whether you are based in the UK or even if you're based outside of the UK. And I'm going to explain exactly what are the benefits of doing so. It's actually a pretty simple process. So if you're ready, let's get going. Okay, but first of all, as always, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jacob Wikowski, and since January 2022, I started documenting my entire dropshipping journey since I started literally from day one. So on this channel, you're going to find all of the different failures, all of the losses, all of the successes and wins that I have occurred in the last almost two years. So if you want to learn about dropshipping, see what it really takes to build dropshipping business, real, raw, unedited, unhyped truth about how to run dropshipping business and trying to succeed, this is the channel for you. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And during this video, if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. But now let's get back to the topic of this video. Setting up limited company or LTD for your dropshipping business. So first of all, why would you like to and want to set up LTD company to run your dropshipping business? And this goes both to people who live in the UK as well as live outside of the UK. One of the biggest benefits you get from registering and running your dropshipping business using LTD or limited liability company is that just as the name says, you are protected. You have less, you are less liable if anything goes wrong in your business. What do I mean by that? Well, as we all know, dropshipping business is high risk type of business. And when I say that, I mean that we are selling sometimes low quality products, which we don't really have a lot of control over and we're sending them to customers all over the world. Very often we're getting suppliers to send those products to our customers and we don't really know if we can trust the suppliers or not. Now this comes with quite a big risk because what if you will sell product which is poor quality and one of your customers not happy with the product and they decide to sue you. So when you get sued and you lose the lawsuit, you, your savings, your house, anything that you have to your name right now is at risk. It can be taken from you to pay the lawsuit. However, on the other hand, if you run your business using limited company and if you lose that lawsuit, your assets, your personal assets like house and savings will be protected. So I always encourage people to go with the LTD or limited company route whenever they start thinking seriously about doing dropshipping. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I believe that having a LTD is, is a huge, huge benefit. Another reason is credibility. So you have probably heard tons of stories from people running dropshipping businesses that they consistently get PayPal accounts shut down, Stripe accounts shut down, Shopify payments put on hold and everything else. And most of the times this happens for people who are not registered businesses for people who are just sole traders or self-employed people simply because those companies like Stripe, Shopify, PayPal look at people a little bit different than real registered legal companies. So this is why whenever you register your LTD and you start using Shopify, you create Stripe accounts, PayPal accounts, etc., etc., and you show them that you took this extra step of registering legal business, they will give you more credibility and probably you will not face as many issues and bans when running your business. In my career, I only have had my 
payouts from Shopify stopped once. When it happened, I still freaked out. I create, I recorded video about it, but it only happened once. Once they checked all of my papers, they seen that I'm registered business, everything else, they released my uh, funds. And since then I never had any issues, but I hear people all over in my discord community and in the comments section complaining that they get their funds held many times getting accounts banned. And I believe this is mainly due to the fact that they are not real legally registered businesses. So this could really change the entire experience of running dropshipping business. Another great benefit of running your dropshipping business or any type of online business using the LTD, especially when you're just getting started, is that when you start making money, start bringing in sales through LTD, it is not going to be count as your personal income. So whatever you are earning right now in your nine to five job, whatever tax you pay right now, on this end, nothing changes, right? You can still work nine to five. You, you still have the exact same income. Nothing changes on that side. You don't have to change here anything because all of the money, all of the profits you're going to generate are going to go to your business, not to your personal name. And all of the money will stay in the business account. And only when you decide to pay out that money, only then it becomes your personal income. And now you have to pay additional tax on that profits and those incomes and everything else. And this is where you probably want to get an accountant to start bookkeeping all of your incomes and everything else. But when you're getting started and you have nine to five job, it's in my opinion easier to start your side hustle through LTD because it is not tied to you personally. It's not your personal income. So it, it's basically like a separate entity making money nothing to do with you. And I believe that this helps you to separate your current nine to five and regular life from your side hassles that you're trying to succeed with. So hopefully that makes sense. And I do encourage you guys to do more research about that, depending where you are based, if you're based in the UK, uh, in Europe or anywhere else. I think that having a UK based company will help you tremendously, especially that with the UK based company, you get access to different perks that some of people who live outside of the UK don't have. Like for example, using Shopify payments as a payment provider to take payments in your stores, or maybe using third party companies uh, who are offering um, installment payments in, in their stores. So if you ever wanted to sell higher ticket products and you know that people might not afford to pay you big amounts right away, when you have UK based company, it's going to be easier for you to set up, for example, Klarna, which helps you to offer your customers installment payments whenever they want to buy your more expensive products. Hopefully this makes sense. It's basically opening up a lot of different doors for you. Now that we know what are the benefits of setting up UK company, how do you actually do that? You could do that yourself by simply going to HMRC website, which is basically UK's government website and try to set up your LTD company yourself. I personally have never done that myself because I don't want to go through the headache of all of the legal stuff that I don't even understand. And I don't really want to be worried that I selected the wrong box or I said something wrong and I might have to pay penalty for my mistakes or anything like that. So in my case, for all of my LTDs, and I have formed quite few of them in the past, I always hand it out to professionals. Now, one of the people and companies you could select to do this task for you are First Formations. Quick disclaimer and full transparency. First Formation guys did get in touch with me asking me if I could present their services to you guys. Now, for those of you who've been following me since I started almost two years ago, then you know that I very rarely take any sponsored um, videos, if you like. 
In my past two years, I probably had maybe two of the sponsored videos and only from the services or products that I personally use and believe in. Now, I decided to show you the first formation guys and partner up with them because I'm receiving a lot of questions from you guys in the Discord community, in, on my Instagram and even in comment sections on YouTube asking about VAT, taxes, UK company and all of the different legal stuff. So I thought and decided that this would be a great um, service for most of you guys who are thinking about creating and setting up a real legal business. So let me walk you through on how you can actually set up your own LTD using the first formation. So this is their website. Now, the first thing that you see on their website is checking if the company name that you want to select for your company is actually available. Right. So let's say that I would like to set up a new company. So let's call this a Jakobs or Jacobs e-commerce. So let's see if this business name is currently uh, available. So as you can see, this business name is available. So once you have the name that you are happy with for your business, and by the way, your LTD name, your corporation name is really not that important because your store name could be anything. It has nothing to do with your business name. So whatever you're going to choose here, it's not going to be your final domain name or final store name. So don't confuse those two things. Under this one business name, you can create as many stores as you want and have as many domain names and store names as you want. So once you have your business name and it is available, Let's go and check out different packages that First Formation are offering. Now, for people who are not based in the UK, I would suggest that you go with obviously non-residents. Now, non-residents package helps you to set up UK-based company with UK address and basically all of the legal um, stuff that you need to create that business and everything is basically virtual. So what First Formation will offer you is setting up your company, making sure that you have uh, everything registered in UK's government, so everything is legal. They are also going to provide you with UK-based address. So whenever the government or the bank or anyone will send any letters, they will go straight to First Formation's address and they will forward those letters to you via either email or via the post. So you don't really need to go ahead and start looking for virtual offices separately and then setting up your business separately and then thinking about setting up your UK uh, business account and everything else. You do not have to worry about any of that. In this one simple package, you basically get everything. And if you take a look, what you get from them is you are going to get your company legally registered. You're going to uh, get email of all of the certificates. So showing you that you are a legal owner of the company, proving that you are basically the director of the company. You're going to get 12 months cancellation protection, which means that if within the next 12 months, you decide that this dropshipping business is not really working out for you, you don't want to do this anymore, maybe you, for some reason you decide to quit, hopefully not, but if yes, then they will help you to basically take this business off the register. So close the entire business and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Like I said, they are going to give you a wise UK business bank account, which is basically what I'm using right now for most of my businesses. You're going to get different addresses. So address to receive legal documents from government, like I said, from banks or any, anything else, they will be sent to those offices and they will forward those letters to you. So at the same time, you get free domain name. So if you haven't started dropshipping yet, you're going to get one free domain so you can get started with your store immediately. They are going to help you to register for VAT. Now, in the UK, if you 
generate more than 86,000 pounds a year, you are legally required to register for VAT. And these guys will help you to do that. Now, when it comes to dropshipping business, as soon as you find your first winning product or even semi winning product, it is so easy to go above 86,000 pounds in sales and thus needing to register for VAT. Now, how does VAT work? According to my accountants, and again, you go ahead and take your own, um, get your own advice, but according to my accountants, when I'm selling products online, even if I'm VAT registered or my business is VAT registered, if I'm selling products online and they are not being sent from UK, but instead they are being sent from China to my customer's address, I do not have to pay or include VAT in my stores into, into my prices. So basically you still need to be VAT registered, but you don't really have to deal with VAT that much. You don't have to charge VAT to your customers whenever you're selling something online. But again, take your own advice. The good news is that when you create your company with the first formation and you do get to above 86,000 pounds in sales, which is close to $100,000 in sales in the first year, they are going to help you register for VAT. And they're also going to help you to fill out the first confirmation statement, which is you are legally bound to do that when you create your company. You don't have to worry about that. They are going to help you with all of those um, legal documentations so you don't have to worry about messing anything up basically. You're going to get a free telephone number for 12 months, which means that if you want to create a new TikTok uh, account, new Facebook account or whatever, or in your stores, you can literally show your UK based number and it doesn't have to be your personal number. This is what I would definitely recommend for non-residents, for people who live outside of the UK. And you do go ahead, read all of the benefits right here. And whenever you have any questions and you are wondering whether this is something that is suitable for you, then you can always reach out to them via the chat feature on their website right here. And they will basically respond pretty much inst instantly, helping you solve any issues. Now, if you're based in the UK, then you have a couple different packages to choose from, from digital package that only costs $12.99, all the way to all exclusive package, which costs $99.99. Now, what package should you, should you go for? When it comes to digital package, I would not necessarily recommend it. Yes, it's only $12.99. And to be honest with you, 12 pounds of this $12.99 goes to company house or company's house anyways. So even if you wanted to register your own company yourself using HMRC, you would still need to pay 12 pounds to company's house for registering or putting your company in company's house. So this is basically mandatory fee that you need to pay. So when you pay for the digital package 12.99, really first formation only gets 99 pence out of that, which is crazy. I don't know how they make money, but that, that's, that's what it is. Now with that, you get uh, basically registration of your business, free bank account, free online company manager, you get free domain. So it's still very, very valuable, even more valuable than doing it yourself. But really when you are serious about running or trying to run dropshipping business or any type of online business, personally, I would recommend Prestige package. Now you could go with e-seller package, but I think what e-seller package is missing is the VIT registration. And I believe that you really want to have the VIT registration because like I said before, when you're running dropshipping business, hitting the 86,000 pounds per year in sales is actually pretty easy. Sometimes you're going to be selling products that are not profitable, but the sales are still adding up and eventually you are going to hit the mark where you have to register for VAT. And with the prestige package, you actually get free VAT registration, use anytime. So you don't have to do it right away, only when you actually hit that threshold. And again, with the prestige package, 
you get uh, you get basically all of the addresses. So you get virtual address, which you can use to register your company for. So your private home address is basically protected and you get all of the benefits that basically non-residents get with this simple package. So let's quickly look, walk through all of that and let me show you what you get. So obviously registration of the company, you get free business account and you have a couple different ba uh, bank accounts to choose from. You don't have to go with Wise, you can choose Barclays, NatWest, and then you have a couple other ones in case if your credit score is not that good. Unfortunately, in the UK, sometimes it's tough to get business account. I personally struggled to get business account when I was first getting started. Now I have regular proper uh, banks offering me business accounts. Um, but you don't have to go through all of that hassle because first formation will help you to get that account sorted out. You get free domain, you get an email uh, copy of the certificate. So basically prove that you are a business owner, that you incorporated this business. You get, like I said, the addresses. So you protect your personal address when registering your business. They will help you to fill out the first confirmation statement, which is again, when you hover on this I icon, you can read exactly what that is, but this is legally required for you to, to submit a confirmation statement into company uh, company's house. You need to do it once, a, at least once a year. Um, and with their help, you don't need to worry about that. They will help you to figure it out. You also get call answering uh, and business telephone number for one month for free. So I did receive a couple times call from customers asking me where is their shipment? Because when you are registering or starting new Shopify store, you do have to put in your telephone details or telephone number. You could put in a fake number, that should be fine. But um, if you really want to have a real brand, you, you really want to build a business that is um, legitimate, you know, that has a good reputation, using a real number is definitely a must. And if you don't want to, you know, have a hassle of talking to customers and explaining yourself, you could um, take advantage of this service from them. This is one month for free and then it costs $29.99 uh, plus VAT per month if you decided that, yeah, I'm happy with this service and I want to keep going. But you don't have to do that, right? Again, and like I said, the most important thing, VAT registration, which you get uh, to use at any time when you're running your business. Now, I would highly suggest that you go to their website. There's a link in the description of this video and read through, see which package is best suited for you and your personal circumstance. And on their website, you can always reach out to them via the live chat feature. There's always someone to help and answer any questions and even get on the phone with you to point you in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead live with you guys and create the company myself. Now, personally, I'm going to use the Prestige package, which is $69.99. So I'm going to click on buy now, and I'm going to show you how to go through this entire process. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's actually very, very easy. Now, as you can see, this package costs $69.99, and that's in British pounds. And they automatically added this pre-submission review, which basically means that after you fill out all of the information, one of their consultants will go through all of your answers to make sure that you filled out everything correctly and there's no issues later on down the line. It's only $4.99, so I'm going to leave that on. But if, in case if you don't want them to double check to see if you made any mistakes, you can get rid of that by clicking on this X button. I'm gonna leave this on. So in total, I'm going to be paying $87.98, basically $74.98 plus $13. VAT. Now, good thing is that as soon as you register your business, this counts towards your uh, company expenses. So you can then write it off your company's corporation tax. So when you start making profits, you can basically save on tax by simply putting this as a business expense. So I'm going to click on agree. And before I check out, I just want to show you that there's many different um, additional options that you could choose from. Uh, for example, if you are, you know, 
tight on time, you really want to get this um, done as soon as possible, you could get the guaranteed same day delivery for £30. You can ask for 12 months cancellation protection. So if anything goes wrong the next 12 months and you decide to close this business and discontinue it, it this will protect you that these guys, the first formation will help you to close your business and basically help you to, you know, get rid of everything and start fresh. You can also get full company secretary service. This is basically £150 per month, uh, per, per year. I don't think dropshipping business needs that. Um, if you do, then go ahead and get that. G uh, GDPR compliance package. Um, yeah, it's all up to you, whatever you want to choose from here. If you will want to start paying yourself salary, when you start become profitable, then you might also want to register for the, P, uh, the payee registration, which basically allows you to pay yourself salary. But at the very beginning, if you're not making any profits, you're not going to be paying yourself salary. So you don't even need that, right? But go ahead and read all of the different options and choose whatever suits you best. For me, I don't need any additional options. I'm just gonna leave uh, whatever I have chosen so far. So I'm gonna go to the checkout, I'm going to pay for the service, and then we're going to go through the entire registration there and then. Okay, so as you can see, I paid for the service and now we need to go through and basically enter all of the details required to create the company. So the name of my business will be Jacobs E-commerce. I want to leave it as that. Limited sh shares, so basically there's only one option here. Obviously, I want to register in England and Wales. Um, what are your business activities? Now, if you at any point get stuck and you don't know what to say or what this is, always click on this information button or just get in touch with them via um, the chat. In this case, basically the SIC code is standard industrial classification code, which basically, in my opinion, they want to know what my business is doing, right? And this is going to be e-commerce. So let's see what we could uh, select here. So. I think that in our case, it's wholesale and retail trade. So I'm gonna just select that. And then I want to find retail, Re retail. And let's see what options we will have in here. So non-specified stores, other retail sale in non-specialized stores. I think that's probably describes me as a dropshipper the most. So I'm going to select that um, and that's it. So from here, I can hit on continue. There you go. Uh, so we're gonna get the address. Choose forwarding address. So here I'm going to basically give them the address that I want them to forward the letters to. So that's the same address that I used when I paid. Um, so I'm just gonna select that, save continue. So that's same thing for business letters because you you, you receive a couple different addresses from them. Uh, so basically business address, so where the business is registered, office address, so where the letters will be sent to. Most of the times it's the same address, but you just need to repeat this process multiple times. So they just want, want to know where they should send different type of correspondence that you will receive. Legal, not legal, etc., cetera, et cetera. Most of the time, probably it will be one and same address, which will be your home address. But let's continue from here. Appointments. What you need to do is you need to add you yourself as a director of the company and the only owner of the company. Unless you want to add someone else like your wife or husband or whatever to the company, Most in most cases, you will be the only director. So this is where you basically give yourself full control of the business, right? So choose your position. So you're going to be the director, shareholder, secretary, and person with significant control in the business. So select all three of those, um, or, or all four of those, uh, and then just go next. On this page, you need to give your details as a director, right? So make sure that you spell everything correctly. There's no mistakes. You need to give your address as well, your personal address as a director. Um, and then authentication questions, you're going to have to answer a um, couple of different questions here. And I believe this is in case if, you know, uh, if the government wants to get in touch with you, this is how you can prove that you are really the director or that they really speak to the director. So I've already answered those. I'm going to hit next. Now the service address, 
This is where all of the legal documentations from the government will be sent to. Um, and the service address is obviously what the first formation provides to you. And then as soon as they receive those documents or letters, they will forward them to your address, which you have to choose here under the forwarding address. So just put in your personal address there. And that's where first formation will forward all of the letters. To. The next step is basically the um, nature of control. So does this officer, which is you, have a controlling interest in the business? So you basically give yourself more than 75% voting rights, more than 75%. You're giving yourself basically full control of the business. Appoint or remove the majority of the board members uh, select. Yes, so you're basically giving yourself full control of the business. Does this officer have controlling influence over firms and or members of the firms which also has a controlling influence just select yes um and i'm not sure what influence you have so again give yourself everything so you are in full control of the business does this officer have controlling influence over the trust ease and everything else select yes uh, and i believe that i want to give myself a full control of the business and then click next now again if anything goes wrong you select something wrong you say something wrong in my case, I added this extra extra service for $4.99 where one of the representatives of the first formation will read all of the answers and make sure that I selected everything correctly. So if anything I did wrong here, they will be the ones to double check everything and let me know. The company has uh, one share. Uh, basically, this is one share of the company and me as a only director, I'm going to be an owner of this share, meaning that I'm owning the entire company, the shares to the company. So again, everything's correct here. Let's click uh, save and continue. How would you like to receive your, uh, any documents? I would prefer to get them by email because it's faster and I don't need to wait for a post or whatever. Legal documents, that's already selected. Um, okay, save and, and continue. And let's go to the next page. Okay, the following banks have expressed an interest to support you and your new company. Now here is where you can basically select which bank you would like to create, uh, open an account with. Um, you have immediate access to like cash business bank account or Tide smart business uh, uh, account. I've never used those two. When you click on show more options, you have more traditional banks like Barclays and NatWest. With those banks, however, they will, it's a little bit harder to open a business account because they will check your credit scoring and everything else. So it's up to you what you're going to choose. Personally, I usually use Wise or any digital sort of banks because it's easier to deal with those guys. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with Cash Plus Business Bank Account um, as a first option and I'm going to choose that. Now this is, go this is where um, you're going to, again, skip a lot of the documentations because first formation will help you to set up everything um, basically in one simple process, which is really convenient. So click on next and save. So accounting software, obviously you will still have to keep accounts of your business, how much money you're making, what's the profit, you need to make taxes. So they are giving you a couple of different options to choose different accounting softwares. I personally have accountants that are dealing with that. So I don't really use accounting software, but in your case, if you want to save money, you don't really want to pay the accountant to, you know, uh, basically put in how much money you made, how much money you've, uh, uh, you've spent and what is the profit and everything else. You could do that yourself and they are offering you free 90 days um, to try this uh, accounting software and then 50% off your first six months, which is a good deal because again, personally, right now I'm paying 150 pounds per month on the accountant in one company and the other company that is making more money, I pay 300 pounds per month for the accountant. So it all depends how much money you're making. But if you're on a strict budget, you could at the very beginning try to keep your accounts yourself with this software, completely up to you. In my case, I'm just going to go click on save and continue. I don't really need the accounting software, um, but yeah, it's all up to you. Again, one more time, they are giving you an option to get some additional uh, additional services. Um, some of them are free, like for example, Wise UK business account. Any business I have 
have wise account as well so i think this is a cool option so definitely would go with that ultimate guide to starting your business if you're new to start to, to running a business and stuff like that, I would definitely get that too. It's for free and you can get a lot of information on how to properly run your business. Again, 12 months cancellation protection. I think it's good option. It's only 10 pounds and you have the security that if six, eight and 10 months from now, you decide that you want to close this business, maybe start fresh or whatever, these guys will help you to close the entire business so you don't run into legal issues. So check it out, choose whatever you want and then click on save and continue, right? In my case, I don't need any extra uh, extras because yeah, uh, most of the things I have already set up for my other businesses. So that's all sorted. Now here is the summary of all of your informations. Uh, double check that everything is spelled correctly and you're happy with everything and then click on save and continue and from here you're basically almost ready and your company is going to be in the process of being set up and born if you like so scroll down one last check partner services so this is for the uh, business uh, account you need to give your details pass your details to open up a business account so I'm gonna do this now. Okay, so that's it. And like I said, this is for the bank account. So let's hit submit and let's move on to the next step. We're almost there. Now that's it, order submitted. Um, so right now your company is basically being um, set up and born. All you have to do is sit and wait and very soon the company will be live. So that's it for this video guys as you can see is as simple as filling out some information about yourself and you can have your ltd ready and operating keeping you safe and helping you save money on tax now if you found this video valuable then please leave it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and if you would like to give first formation a try there's a link in the description of this video where you can basically go through this entire process just like i did in this video but for now that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care